it's one of those things, dude, you just, uh, you're really grateful for these opportunities that we have. Yeah, well, I mean, we, we, we've had several conversations throughout the week about just how the life that we're living now, the life that I live now is, I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't even have dreamed this shit up before my accident. Yeah, I, I, like I said, I mean, like, scuba diving is one of those things, like, I looked at it like, I'm never gonna do that, like, I'm, I'm, yeah, it, yeah there's, there's no way, and, like, yeah, in a lot of ways, um, you know, getting injured introduced me to a, a whole world of oh just yeah amazing uh, amazing people but then just these opportunities you know where um you know before i got injured like I've, i'd only been in like five different states they were all on the west coast really yeah and now i'm uh i think i have like eight or nine to go yeah you were showing me your flag man the the number of countries you yeah and those are to. just countries right yeah yeah um yeah, um, before I got injured, I'd only been to um, Canada. Um, I went to uh, Australia. I got family in Australia. And uh, like Laos, Thailand, Cambodia. Mm-hmm. But um, that was that was like kind of like a family trip. And, it, you know, I, I always wanted to travel, just never knew how I was going to do it. Um, and then just like after paralyzing myself, like the, um, the amount of opportunities I've been able to go do like South America, you know, like I'm going to Bogota next week. Um, well, and I feel like it it really has highlighted to me what's important in life and all the bullshit that, that, that is in your daily life that you think is like so important, you know, just, just. It, it it really it really prioritizes you know what it is that uh, that you want to do and that what you care about and and man to be a a world traveled person just makes you more culturally aware and and it's it's something that like I mean I was telling you I hope that someday I can have your resume on on my stat sheet of, oh, dude, of you'll places get there. I've been. Yeah, and, man, uh, you'll get there. And, and yeah, it's, uh, I mean, the world's just such a big place that, and, and, and every place is so different that, that it would just be a, an absolute shame, a shame to not, to not go and see and experience all these different places and everything the world has to offer because I'm, I, I'm finding out that, that more and more, um, the, uh, American society uh, and what it values it's just like man really is that is yeah. that what's important is that is that what really we need to be focusing on you you've gotten a, like a little taste of like outside of like the first world bubble right because like when we're in the u.s like we live like in this little bubble where things that we think matter really don't matter yeah um and it's until you get outside of like that bubble, man. Like when when I went to Cambodia, um, I was there with a a group from Indonesia, the Bali Sports Foundation, and um, we were. Um, it was kind of like a scouting recon trip to see if the country had enough quadriplegics to play wheelchair rugby because we wanted to start a rugby program there. Okay. Um, yeah, BSF. Um, they go around to these different countries and they they jumpstart like rugby programs yeah and um when we were in cambodia man we were visiting like you know um sci like centers and when you see like the living conditions that like us you know paralyzed person that lives in cambodia has has to deal with it's so fucking incredible you look at the wheelchairs there man and and i should have showed you pictures of this it's i mean it's wooden wheelchairs with like you know steel spokes, and they they the cushions are either non-existent or they're sitting on like pillows, very minimal shit, man. It's just like, um, yeah, that's that's crazy. You, you always hear people joking about like hashtag first world problems like this and that, but yeah. when, but but getting getting to experience a bit of that in Mexico, and I mean I haven't I haven't seen it like like you have. But yeah, it definitely it definitely makes you appreciate, it, especially being a spinal cord injury. It's like, man, if I was in any other country, would I even be alive right now? Yeah. Like, 
I, I really don't know. I don't think that I would. We were in Indonesia, and there we, we didn't meet a single spinal cord injury person, you know, and, like, their, um, their rugby team consists mostly of uh, uh, amputees, birth defects, and um, just because, you know, you have a spinal cord injury there, there's, there's not the medical infrastructure to keep you alive like yeah. you you just end up dying you if you survive the accident like you're not gonna live a year right. after it like there's just you know yeah. there's no catheters there's there's you know you, you're gonna run into like you're not gonna have suppositories or anything yeah, like, like you you made this comment earlier you said man isn't this like the best time to be living with a spinal cord injury and it really is i mean or the time and the location that we're at like it's it's just absolutely amazing and and I can't wait to see what the future holds for for the industry of wheelchairers and yeah. adaptive equipment because it's 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 so far beyond what I thought when when I got injured honestly man I didn't I didn't have any friends that were in wheelchairs I didn't know anything about that world oh like, I'm the same so, way so yeah. in my head I thought. I'm going to lay in bed and somebody's going to fucking roll me over and wipe my ass. Yeah. And like, that's how I'm going to take a shower for the next 50, 60 years of my life. I'm like, you know, fuck that. Like, I don't want to live like that. And then I, I, I spend a little bit of time out, outside of the, the, and getting to know, get, getting to see what there is available. And man, are we lucky. Like, like I told you, I talked I talk to a guy in the San Diego VA system, been in a wheelchair for 60 plus years. And he said for the first 20 years, he was in one of those bifold wheelchairs and his cushion was a pillow. Yeah. Like it was a pillow. Come on, man. Yeah. And, and now I'm sitting here on a high profile uh, Rojo cushion and you know I'm in a custom built wheelchair. Titanium. Like exactly yeah, like titanium like I can get in and out of my wheel or I can get in on my car, break my wheelchair down and throw it in my passenger seat like it's nothing. Yeah. Like that 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 wasn't a thought a hundred years ago. Which like in Joe Rogan's words, a hundred a hundred years ago that three, that, that three was people. like like three hundred years ago yeah. that was three people. Three so a hundred years ago that was one person ago. Great granddaddy. Yeah. yeah. One person ago, we were sitting in wooden wheelchairs that and, and had no life. And here yeah. we are in the south south seas of... Uh, the South the, Caribbean. The, the yeah. South Caribbean. Yeah. yeah, we're in the South Caribbean, and, and we're scuba diving with, you know, 10 other disabled veterans, and, and, and it's like... Yeah, there's like 15 gimp bastards here. Oh, yeah. Us. yeah. Yeah, we got that Three picture. Three boats. We got that picture coming up, and they were talking, like, how do we how, how do we arrange everybody? I was like, you're going to have to take a panoramic picture. And they're like, yeah, but none of our other ones have been. I was like, yeah, exactly. Like, how how cool is that? Yeah. That we we started with, with just a regular picture, and then we have to do a panoramic picture because there's so many gimps. There's so many crips yeah. that, that we've got to take a picture that way. Yeah, man. It's awesome. These, uh, these trips have just been so amazing. Uh, the first one I went on was like Cosmel. Uh -huh. And it was just like the support system we have. And like, you know, like the fights having their house there. And then them just opening it up to right. us. And um, just being able to just get out and, and not have to like worry about... Um, like How you're the, gonna get the, around. Yeah, like the wheelchair yeah. problems. And, right. And like you just, you get to, for at one week at least, you, you get to just enjoy it. You, you just, just get to be a person, man. You're, right. you're not a person in a wheelchair. You're like the, the these dive trips, man. You're like everybody else. It doesn't matter. Like if an able-bodied person can do it, you're going to fucking do it. Like, yeah. 